exceptions to people coming back, to state workers coming back? Yeah, that question comes up a lot. But no, you know, one of the things I'll be meeting with the cabinet, uh, you know, I met with them yesterday and I'll meet with them again here in the near future and we'll be walking our way through it. So when we say May the 17th is that date, that means between now and that date, people should probably be preparing to come back in. So we should be bringing people back on a daily basis. Till it's not like all of a sudden you gotta flip a switch and say, okay, everybody's gotta be here on the 17th. You know, there's no reason people can't start coming in this week and next week and every day as we move forward on that. So I think that's kind of the way we're gonna approach that as we bring people and get ready for it. But as far as exceptions go, we wanna be very careful with that because we got to make sure we're consistent with that from the leadership down. So what, what I can't have happen is one department doing it one way, another department doing it another way. So we're going to have to take a look at that. And I think one of the big concerns we have is the daycare side of it. You know, how, what are state employees going to do on that daycare side of it? So we, we have a tremendous amount of resources on the daycare side of it as far as funding and financially to be able to help with people as they come back. And then you just physically got to say, okay, what is the demand for that? Do we have the avail availability? for those daycare situations. But however, I will say that was there 14 months ago before this ever started. That issue was there too. Now, if you give up those services and somebody else is now in that daycare, we gotta figure out how much of a problem that is. So, but we're gonna be make sure we're gonna help on the daycare situation, whatever that takes to help people.